Today we're going to show you how to easily find the price of an item that's sold on Etsy as well as how I price my Etsy items. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about how to price your items on Etsy. Now, one thing I hear all the time is, how do you find the price of an item that's sold on Etsy? As long as you can find the listing you are looking for, we'll show you right now how to find the price. So we're here on a sold listing on Etsy. As long as you can get to the detail page of any item in Etsy, you are completely able without doing any other thing or getting an app to find the sold price. Now, many years ago when I was in college finishing my first degree, it was an IT degree. I was in a class. We were taking HTML and CSS. I also had a JavaScript class and I was trying to figure out how to nest some code into uh, uh, the correct order so it produced the function that I wanted. And I was playing around and I happened to have an Etsy page open. This was, I don't know, eight years ago or something like that, 10 years ago. And I was messing around with the code. For those who have messed with code or done anything coding or computer languages, you can cut and paste a lot of that. You can cut a whole block of code and use it over and over again in all types of different uh, apps or coding uh, needs. You just change a few wording or some terms or something or a spot of something and you can use it for many different things. And I noticed when I was looking at some source code trying to figure out how they did a scroll or made a box come down or something, uh, that there was information shown that only shows up on an active page, but it, yet it was still there. So after a lot of time and due diligence, uh, a lot of wasted time actually too, I figured out that the price was actually in the actual source code for the page. I took database design and construction too. Some of this has to do with how they store the information. And they can fix other aspects of the web page, such as the HTML code or CSS cascade style sheets, and fix it so only certain things pop up on a page, even though they may still be there. So if you want to see what something sold for, the information's already there. If you hit the control key on your keyboard and the letter U at the same time, another window is going to pop up. And what this window is, is the source code, the design, the pattern, the, the functionality of that exact page, the inner workings of it. Now, it looks like a whole bunch of just nothing to most people. It's a ton of data in here. And I wasted a lot of time going line by line and trying to do search words that I could figure they might have used. And I never once thought about using the word that they had, even though it's something I should know. So if you want to search this page and get other data besides just the price, if you hit Control F for find, a box will show up. And the word they use for the sold amount for an item is price. So if I type in price up here in this box, it's gonna bop me down to where the price is stored in the source code. Right here you'll see in the yellow over here on the left is the word price and it's $5.99. So this Weeble, the Weeble on the page right here, sold for $5.99. Now you can do that for any item that you can actually see the detailed page on Etsy. Now there's applications you can pay for and other things like that that will tell you this, but you can do it yourself in like two seconds. It's not even worth the time and hassle, in my opinion, to download some app or something that's gonna type your system or could have some security security issues with the safety of that app on your phone, on your PC or something like that. Everything you want is available here. The price is actually listed on the source code itself 17 times and if it wasn't the very first one, you can just click down and it'll take you to anywhere in here that says price. Again, this the sheet's massive. The amount of data it takes to create that page is massive. Some of them are links on where some data comes from and things like that. That's why database kind of has some aspects to do with actually the source code, which is why I was digging into another site to begin with. Now I know there's probably many other people who are aware of this already, 
Now you could have just right clicked somewhere other than where the photo is and then slid down to view page source and it would have shown you the same thing. It's just going to load again. I'm just in the habit of doing control U and then a real quick control F. It's just easier than right clicking and such forth of the mouse. But there's many ways to get to this page. The data is there. Many people just don't realize it, especially those who aren't familiar with using source code to begin with. There's other bits of information you can glean from source code as well as other platform information you can get from source code as well. But anyway, that's about it on this aspect of it. So it's really easy to get that price and it works pretty much on every listing as long as you can find it in that seller doesn't have his listings hidden. They're very accessible. Now, one of the other questions I get asked a lot is how do I price items to go up on Etsy? Well, for us, I literally use eBay for the most part. Or if I find other items similar on Etsy right now, they're active. I usually price in a similar price structure to what's up there, maybe a little higher maybe a little lower. It just depends on how similar those items are. Now for vintage items and things like that on Etsy. I've been pricing those for quite some time based on my eBay prices. So if I can sell something on eBay, usually the price is fairly comparable on Etsy. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less. Just like if I'm going between, say, an Etsy, an eBay, or an Amazon listing, each one of those can have little tiny areas where things fluctuate like records I can sell records higher on Amazon in some cases than I can on eBay it does depend on the item itself just like crafts if I sell certain craft items on Etsy I would almost always get more money out of those items than if I listed them on eBay or even homemade on Amazon so you've got choices out there so most items across many different platforms can be priced in the same basic range it just depends on the item most of the vintage and collectible items that I sell on eBay, I can surely get the same price on Etsy or pretty darn close to that mark. So you always can kind of use that same basic structure. eBay offers the vast amount of data, far more accessible than any other platform out there. Way more easier and way more of that information is available on eBay versus Etsy. Etsy has no way to look at what things sold for on there. Now, I'm sure there's some app out there somewhere that you got to pay for or something. Just like the premium version of Terra Peak for eBay. You can pay more and get more data, so that might be the case. The price-wise, as you see, is no big deal on Etsy, at least, for items that you can find. You can't just find them, though. They're not out there just offering the prices, not even for a big paid service that I have found ever on Etsy. It's been one of the biggest complaints that I have had from uh, dealing with the platform itself. There's nothing wrong with the platform itself. It's in the top five, without a doubt, reselling platforms there are. It's one of the top ones for artistic and creative items also. Research and pricing, though, always seems to be the issue. And the hardest ones for many people to price on Etsy are craft items as well, or artistic items. Many people are afraid of how high to put something or how low to put something that they've spent a lot of time on. So that's going to be one that most people will have to figure out on their own. Based on how much time you have into a craft item or how much time it took you to create some work of art or something like that. I have set prices I get for my items. If they don't sell at that price on a certain platform, I don't list them on a specific platform. Nothing wrong with Etsy, though. It's great for collectibles. Pricing, as I said, I literally go off of eBay's pricing for most of what I sell that could be listed on either site. Now, Amazon, on the other hand, I may have some prices higher there than anywhere else. Bottom line, though, is it's pretty easy to track and find prices to list your items on Etsy based on other platforms, especially in the same genre, at least in the same category to category uh, comparison. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gives you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
it's a neat new trick you know. Pump it on your brush and go. They got the Colgate pump, she's got the Colgate pump. Even moms and dads agree what makes it good is MFP. Just a spot of minty joke will touch your teeth as you can tell. We've got the Colgate pump, we love the Colgate pump. Two great tastes, maximum fluoride protection at your fingertips.